Chapter 3 Tissues A single cell working on its own would achieve very little inside an animal or a plant. So many similar cells lying side by side work together as a team to perform the same function. Such groups are called tissues. We will describe here only the more common plant and animal tissues. Tissues, the teams of workers. A tissue is a group of similar cells performing a specific function. Most plants and animals possess a tissue system. The human body, for example, has an epithelial tissue covering the skin, the muscular tissue made up of muscle cells which by contraction bring about movements. In a plant, the conducting tissue inducts water upwards from the soil to the aerial parts and food prepared from the leaves to the lower parts. There is relationship between tissue, organ, organ system and organism. Several tissues together contributing to some specific function inside the body constitute an organ such as tongue having epithelial cells, nerve cells, muscle cells, etc. Many organs acting together to perform a specific life process constitute an organ system such as the digestive system. Organ systems together constitute the organism. Example, the root system and the shoot system constitute the plant and organism. Plant tissues Plant tissues are basically of two types. A. Meristematic tissue Cells can multiply to produce new cells. Greek meristos means divided. B. Permanent tissue Non-dividing cells and specialized A. Meristematic tissue Found at all growing points of a plant such as the tips of roots, stems and branches As seen in the figure Also present between the bark and the wood of trees where it leads to growth in the diameter of the stem Characteristics of meristematic tissue 1. Cells are small. 2. Cells are usually cubical. 3. Cell wall is thin. 4. Nuclei are large. 5. Vacuoles almost absent. 6. Cells tightly packed with almost no intercellular spaces. 7. The cells actively divide, adding new cells to the plant. 8. New cells thus produced are transformed into mature, permanent tissues. If you want to see all the chapters in this format, then call us in the description of the number. Classification of Meristematic Tissue The meristematic tissue can be classified into two categories. Apical meristem and cambium or lateral meristem. First, apical or terminal. This is located near the tips of roots and stems and also in the growing young leaves near the tips of stems as well as on the tips of axillary buds. Second, cambium or lateral meristem. This is situated below the bark and is responsible for increase in the diameter of the stem. B. Permanent tissues Permanent tissues are made up of cells which have lost their ability to divide. They take a permanent shape to perform some permanent function. They may be living, nucleus present, or dead, nucleus absent. According to the function performed, the permanent tissues are of three types protective, supporting, and conducting. Types of permanent tissue 1. Protective tissue 
cells are with thick walls and found on the surface of roots, stems and leaves. Examples Epidermis of leaves which secretes a waxy waterproof material. Cork cells in the barks contain another strong waterproof material. 2. Supporting tissue This tissue is of several types. The three most important ones are A. Parenchyma B. Colenchyma and C. Sclerenchyma Parenchyma Parenchyma is large, thin-walled cells, oval, circular or polygonal in shape. They usually contain a single large vacuole. Parenchyma cells are found in soft parts of plants, such as in the cortex, that is outer region, and in the pith, the central region. They may store food, as in potatoes. They provide temporary support to the plant. Some parenchymatous cells, particularly in the leaf, contain chloroplasts and are termed chlorenchyma. Chlorus means green. Chlorenchyma helps the leaf to produce food by photosynthesis. Colenchyma. Colon means glue. Colenchyma is made up of cells which are elongated and the cell wall is thickened at the corners. It is found in the leaf stalks and below the epidermis of stems. The tissue helps to support the parts of a plant. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें स्क्लेरनकाइमा स्क्लेरोस मींस हार्ड स्क्लेरनकाइमा इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ लॉन्ग नैरो सेल्स व्हिच हैव बिकम डेड दी सेल्स डेवलप वेरी थिक वॉल्स ड्यू टू द डिपोजिशन ऑफ लिग्निन दिस टिश्यू प्रोवाइड्स स्ट्रेंथ टू प्लांट पार्ट्स it is found in stems and veins of the leaves. The above three categories, namely parenchyma, colenchyma, and sclerenchyma, are grouped as simple tissues, each being made up of one type of cell fibers and stones, ropes, mats, and certain textiles are made from plant fibers such as those of linen. And hem. These fibers are the sclerenchyma cells. The hard walnut shells and the gritty masses in the skin and the pulp of pears are made up of sclerenchyma cells, here known as stone cells. Conducting tissues. Conducting tissue, also called the vascular tissue, provides a passage for water and dissolved materials. To move up and down in the plant. The xylem and phloem are the two types of conducting tissues. A. Xylem. Xylem cells are elongated and thick walled. These cells are somewhat in the form of tubular passages. They provide for upward movement of water and dissolved materials absorbed from the soil by the roots to other parts of the plant. Older xylem tissue, xylo means wood, forms the wood and does not participate in transport. You can determine the age of tree by counting its annual rings which actually are the xylem rings. The xylem tissue consists of tracheids and vessels also called treachery elements xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers respectively types of xylem tissue 1 tracheids tracheids are made up of elongated dead cells with large cavities without any contents the cells are placed end to end forming a long tube they have highly lignified cell walls they provide mechanical support by developing various types of thickenings in their walls. 2. Xylem vessels or tracheae. 
Xylem vessels are long tube-like structures meant for transporting water and dissolved minerals. They are made up of elongated cells placed end to end. Their cell walls are quite hard, thick and lignified. Transverse walls get dissolved and make a continuous water pipe. 3. Xylem parenchyma Xylem parenchyma consists of living parenchyma cells associated with the xylem. These cells serve for the storage of food, sugars and starch and also help in the conducting of water and minerals. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एजुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें